Hi there. Today in this screencast we will see how to copy a sheet into a new workbook, name this sheet, delete the default one, and save a new workbook in the related folder with the name and current date. Let's take a look. Here we have our data and several sheets with revenue per region. And let's say that we would like to copy this sheet into a new workbook and save this new workbook with the name and the current date. Let's start. Let's open the Visual Basic Editor, Alt F11. Let's open a new module and let's start and type our procedure. And we will start with the dim. We will dim our variable as workbook. And then we will set this variable. We will say it will be this workbook. So we know that our workbook is named at this workbook and it is equal to our variable. And then we will open a new workbook where we will copy our active sheet, right? To open the new workbook, we will write the object workbooks. It is an object. And then we will select from the library the method. The method will be add. And by this way, we will open a new workbook. If you would like to learn more about objects, properties and method, you can see on the top right corner. And now we will copy this sheet into a new workbook. To copy it, we will do following. We will write our variable. It is this workbook, right? Then we will see the property. It is active sheet because we would like to copy this active sheet we will choose this the property and then we'll we'll put copy and to where we will copy before and now we need to choose the place where we will copy it so we will say it will be before the first sheet of the new workbook. The new workbook will be active workbook because you just opened it and it is activated. The active workbook is the object and now we will see the property. The property will be sheets and to find the place we will see before active workbook sheets and the sheet will be sheet one which is the first sheet by default in each, in each workbook right now we have edited to the new workbook and we would like to give a name to this sheet and we will say active workbook And then we will see the property. The property is active sheet. And then the next property will be name. And it will be equal, let's say, EMEA revenue. So now we have this sheet named by email revenue. What else? In the new workbook, we will have this one, which we copied. And as you remember, the sheet one by default, and we would like to remove this work, this uh, worksheet. 
how we will do it. We will say worksheets and then sheet one. It should be exactly the right name of the sheet. And activate. And now it is activated. We will copy it. And what more we will do with it? Now we will delete it, right? Why we activate it instead of directly delete? Because when we will test this, this code, you will see how it is going. And now we are ready to save this workbook. And we will say active workbook because it continues active. Do you remember the first one is this workbook? And then we will see the method save as because we will not save only, we will save as with the name and the current date. Save as. First, we need to add the address of the folder where we will save it. To receive the address of the folder, we need to go to the folder where we would like to copy this workbook. I have this one. And click, right click on the name of the folder and copy address as text and click on it. Go back to the, your code and paste it here. And then we need to put a new slash and the name of this workbook. The name will be revenue. And then, very important, do not forget to give quotations mark in the beginning and, and the end here. When we finish with this, we will say, and where is the current date, right? So we say, and, and then we would like to go to the second line to go uh, to it. We need to click on space and then down line and click enter. We use the function format. And then now, and then we will give the format. It will be, in my case, date, month, and year. Close the parentheses. And now we need to add how we will save it. And we will save it as dot, because after the name is dot and then the format. And it will be this one. And then we finish. So now our active workbook is saved with our sheet in the related folder with the current name with the current date and the name revenue. And now we would like to receive a message with this information. We will write message box. We will put the text. This workbook is saved with name revenue. We'll close the parentheses. And now we would like to add the current date, right? And we will put and and format date and the format of the date. And that's all. Now we can test it. We will save this sheet into the new workbook, right? We need to click inside of the code and then click on F8 to start the testing. Now we will add a new workbook. Let's see. 
and it is edit. You can see it here on the left side. It is a new workbook. And we will copy our sheet email into this workbook before this sheet one, if you remember. And it is copied here. It is here, right? And now what we will do, we will give the name email revenue to this one. And here it is. And now we will activate this sheet. We will activate it. And it is, right? And now what we will do, we will delete it. And Microsoft asks to you, are you sure? Yes, I am sure. And it is deleted. And now we will save this workbook in our related folder with our name and current date. Let's see the name. And here you can see the name. And let's go to the, our folder. And here it is saved in our folder. If we would like to have here a space, I will show you how to do it. First of all, we will enter the code. And now we will receive the message, right? Let's see. This workbook is saved with the name revenue and the current date. And here, as you can see, we have the space, but here we do not have. And now we would like to edit here how we will do it. Here in the save our sheet revenue, we will can click here and one space. And let's start from the beginning. We will close this, this uh, test. Then we will close this one, go to related folder, delete this, which we have copied, open again the Excel. And now we can do it again, but by only by clicking on run or F5. We will delete this sheet, yes. And then this workbook is saved with the name and let's see the name, it's okay. Click on accept and let me go to the related folder. And here it is. And that's all. Thank you for watching.